Pedersen, clever to Vandenberg again. Kennedy's already kicked one goal. He shares the love and gets it back. Maybe that's a little bit too much. But it ends in a very happy fashion for Gallup. He just guide the ball through. I reckon he was having oh. a shot. But, oh, look at this. Kennedy flicks it out. Gallup will have a shot. Gallup won't make the mistake. Just bangs it. Good use of the body by Gala. Got rid of Bagley. Take takes on. him on with a bounce. Looks up. Oh, he spins straight past him. <laughs> you can't catch lightning. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. David, you said that the Bombers needed a small forward. Well, they just got the example of how to do it. This guy has set himself for a great season. A brilliant nab challenge. He really has worked hard. He's as fit as I've ever seen him as a player. And this is just, this is a moment for him where it's, OK, I've got this and you've got that. I'm going to back myself in. And it, was a, it wasn't an, a uh, sure thing. He really did have to maintain his dexterity with the ball. And under pressure, he got the job done to really breathe some light into the Melbourne Footy Club. And they need a spark. He's, this might be it. He's been a great selection for them, hasn't he? Brilliant. Consistent goal kicker, two, averaging almost two goals a game in his time at the Ds. And that just shows you the damage. One on one. See you later. Just under two minutes in the first term. Jones goes searching. Pack forms about 60 out. Kent's got a runner. Jeffy Gullett's got the speed. Thinks about the drop punt. Converts to a check side. Demons get there for didn't rush it. Brilliant. Fair goal. This little Jeffy Garland. 40 goals last year. Third time in his career that he's done it. And they make you pay. A little small forward. You let him out the back duck with that sort of speed. You're asking for trouble. The Garland, one of only three players last season to kick a goal in every game. Eddie Betts and Josh Kennedy of West Coast. The others. Hunt. Ugly shot of a ball in the end. Beats a few. Garland will go back. Who gets there first? Jack Watts. Give is on. Back inside. He comes. Looping ball over the top. Here's Jeffy with speed off the ground. Ugly goal. Becomes a beautiful thing. Well, maybe. Maybe. I believe it's a goal. I'm going to make sure to keep the ball before the line. I believe it's a goal. I'm going to make sure to make contact with the ball. Score review. Unfortunately. Goal. Frost, bottom of that pack, three seasons Good. at GWS, 21 games, second season at Melbourne, seventh game tonight. Rance got high. Watts, here he is again. Garlett around the body. He's kicked three. And Melbourne's lead, 19 points in the blink of an eye. There's no doubt. Guys like Garland, you said it earlier tonight, Dars, that they sit up, they watch Friday night footy, <laughs> they see Poppy kick his five, they see Cyril turn it on, they see Eddie Betts kick three in the first quarter. I want to listen to and, you, Doug. They say, no, they, they do, it's a, it's a challenge. And yeah. We talk about these small fours, they do, they light the game up, and when he's on fire, then, uh, well, there's no bad, he's just so quick, silky smooth, and that's just a great finish. He's a good combination, isn't he? He's got the speed and the craft. His Collingwood teammate Kennedy, former teammates of course, Kennedy now carries the ball towards the 50, Maxi Gorn, how fitting it would be, slapped forward by Pedersen, brilliantly done, and Garlett has kicked four, welcome back Jeffrey. Kent's handball over the top, Garlett the finish, and Melbourne can celebrate. Campbell away to stretch, now to Jones. Jones puts a high ball up inside the 50. Watts is there. Ground level. Garlet, he likes these. He's hard up against the line, though. He's able to keep it alive with him. Step oh, around oh. his body. How about that? Jeff Garlet, what a great goal. <laughs> you said in the call, Matty, that uh, he likes these. He certainly does. And so many small crumbing forwards like the, the angle. Tight on the boundary line. Turn in board on their preferred foot and that is a nice snap around the body but again prepared to go long on that occasion to Jack Watts he made a good enough contest to, to bring it to ground but I think they really do need to lower the eyes which will be much more productive going inside their forward 50 handball to Kennedy who just rushed it onto the boot the half forward David well good contest and then lays the tackle on lemons Oliver Handball away to Bug inside the 50. He's kicked. 
Standing there, takes it, handball, Garland into an open goal. Here's another one. From the wing, open space ahead, hunted down by Rich, still got the kick. What's he left that for Garland? Great team play there. Is it your ball, Jeff? That's all grounds this spot for Jeff Garland. Well, if he misses, he's going to miss to the left. And if he gets it, it would hurt the Brisbane Lions, given they just had the shot at the other end. That's a nasty way to start. Harm's about to jump into this. From four deep, Merrick got there first. Knocked it down. And Hogan's out the back here. Good crumbing Newton. Got it to Harms. Hogan's on his lonesome. He can get it and stroll. It didn't see it initially. He's got the handball options. Kent, Garlet. It was a party down there. They all wanted a piece of it. And now the Demons could be full of a bit of running. Harms. The kick has to be good. Watts elevating. O'Shea got back into his path. Here's Garlet. Been quiet. No one back on the goal line. Garlet sizes them up. Steers it through. And another crucial goal of the Demons. And they've had a couple of opportunities um, in this uh, quarter and they've taken them. The Watts goal, the Garlet goal, haven't had big quarters themselves. The inside 50 has still been dominated in this term from Port Adelaide. But Melbourne, they've had their half chances and they've taken them. So really good finish from Garlet. He's had, a, he's had a pretty quiet day. He's only had five touches for the day, kicking one goal one. So these are the opportunist goals that uh, players like Garlet need to take. Been a handy player, and as we heard during the week, he signed an extension on his contract, which is great news for both Garlett and uh, the Melbourne Footy Club. Wide towards the wing, and he finds Lynch, who drifts in towards the middle, dangerously so, because Watts was there and it was a good intercept. He gets the hand pass away towards Stretch. They're inside 50 once again. Talia, 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 no, couldn't take it. Garlett in towards goal, and Melbourne have answered with Jeffrey Garlett. few jiggy steps flick to the side and then just to the top of the square and that was disappointing from every angle Jared or we'll come back to that it's Carlos kicked to go maybe that was the plan but boy it was an interesting plan the goal goes to Garland and he has got his second for the Demons and it's a rocking ship at the moment because that kick has gone straight down the throat of Neville Jenner Jenner goes back inboard and he finds Garland. Jeffrey Garland should have had three goals. He's got a chance now to make it three. And that's a beautiful strike. He's done exactly that. And the Demons have hit the front again. For him to steam up now. Kicks a low wandering ball inside 50. Oh, normally would have taken that mark. They're going to the back doors to Garland again. And he's got it. The D's needed it. And the little man kicks his fourth. Good hit out to Gaff. Kick to half back, but Frost standing tall. And again, Melbourne can go back inside 50. Tries to control the kick, it was good. Yes, Onto the chest of Garlett. Redden slipped over. Garlett swept through, and he can go back and line up the big sticks. It, it arises. They've been inaccurate in this turn, Melbourne. Five behinds. Garlett pokes it this one, but it holds its line, and they've finally broken the deadlock in this quarter. Melbourne kick a goal in second spot. GWS dropped a few percentage points in their loss against West Coast. That could really damage Strapped their top there four. by Garlett. A clever bit of roving. He read it well and he snapped a great goal. And Melbourne will celebrate with a win. Well, Garlett looked really dangerous in the first half. Yeah. He looked like the bloke who was going to rip the game to bits. Watch him intercept this. Just watch it. You can only do this if you're watching the intent and the eyes of the player with the ball. Thieved it. So Melbourne have won this last quarter. They'll keep 2-7 to 2-1, perhaps. He's Garlett. He'll snap another clever goal. Jeff Garlett joining in the party in the final term. In rights 300th, and he had a really influential afternoon. Garlet had a tough afternoon. That one, well, that's better. He's had a rugged time on his left boot, 
better on his right. It's fine, he works his way forward, but again, there's holes forward. Buse, a fumble. Matt Jones had the footy. Taylor just did enough. And the tackle comes from Gull. Needs to try and do something magical here, and he might have. He squeezed it through.